Just gonna take a sip of this nondescript drink before we start. You're not getting free promotion on this channel. All us content creators know how important it is to utilize every resource possible when it comes to putting our content out on the internet. It's not really a controversial take to say that TikTok is one of the best platforms for that. Now, I can hear you though, especially if you're new, TikTok can be very intimidating. Right out of the bat, we are hit with just a whole bunch of quality content with people who put in hours and hours and hours of work, and then it causes your brain to go down a downward spiral when you start freaking out and just shh. I am here with three tips that I think no matter what kind of content you are creating for the platform, these will help you make better videos. Let's get right into it with tip number one, which is cut all of the air. I know that TikTok has a maximum three minutes. That doesn't mean you have to make a three minute TikTok. I still think the platform is built on very short and quick and snappy content that people want to just watch over and over and over again. And nothing kills that fun little loop more than air that doesn't need to be there. Slice, cut, do all of that, cut it down. Get in, out, have your video be snappy and quick. That also means you can kind of re-edit a joke a little bit. This goes a little bit more for people who are taking clips from their streams, but you can cut out air, you can cut out maybe the start of a joke didn't work so well, whatnot like that. I've done it. I've had clips that I've taken directly from stream and I've chopped it up and I've taken parts out and put pieces together, almost like a Frankenstein monster, but it works better and it works better for the whole little bit. So I guess to piggyback off on the cut air would be focus on making sure that the bit lands. That actually leads us into the next tip really well, which is pay attention to how long your TikToks are. This piece of advice can and probably does change depending on the type of niche you're in and, and just the creator that you are. I have found for my own content, I have a really good sweet spot between 10 to 15 seconds. Now, you don't have to fully stay in that time range. I go up to 20 seconds, 30 seconds sometimes even. I posted a, a branded content video that that was a minute and a half. I've also released videos that are five seconds. I don't typically, and I don't think I would recommend going shorter than that. I think there you're starting to run into some weirdness and I think people might be more frustrated with you if they like get to your video and it's only three seconds long. Again, I don't know, maybe for you as the creator, that works best. The last piece of advice that I think is gonna be a little bit more difficult because it requires some, some self uh, reflection, that's the word, self-reflection because you need to find a way to stand out a bit. On the game inside of TikTok, I think we've all seen the, the videos where it's just the square, gameplay, camera on top. And that's great if you're starting out because there's a lot of programs out there that make that easy for you, but I'm here to push you, especially if you've been making TikToks for a while, if you've been creating content, find something stylistically that just when a viewer looks at your stuff, they'll be like, oh, that's just a little bit different. I did that a few months ago where I had to find a different way to do my camera in my videos. Because on stream, I don't have just a square video of me. I decided to make my life a little bit more difficult and do kind of a rounded edge rectangle, which looks awesome on stream. And then I put it into Premiere and I realized, oh, I messed up. I didn't mess up but I, 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 I messed up because I couldn't just now do a crop of a square because it just didn't look good. So I, I did all the masking work I needed to in Premiere and then I had the next problem of where do I place this? It's a rounded rectangle and I guess I could have put it in the middle but because it's longer height wise than width, it kind of just took up a lot of space. So I ended up moving it to the side a bit more. So play around. See, maybe you can do a different shape on your camera. Maybe you can move it over, maybe not. You never know, but just try to mix it up because the competition there is a bunch of people doing the same thing. So any little bit can help you stand out. Another stylistic choice that I have is I put 
text on the screen. I know that TikTok has an auto caption generator, which I tried doing and it works great. I mean, you have to edit it sometimes here or there, but I just found that I preferred to have the look of text popping up while I was saying them. It, it feels like it gives a little bit more character because my text will pop in. They do. There's a little bit of an animation I put on there. It has my stream colors, my channel colors and whatnot like that. And it just, I think, helps stand out. I know a lot of people do this one and, and I don't think that's a bad thing. It does take time. When I edit out my videos, I have to go in and listen to what I'm saying and type and do all of that. So it is a bit annoying because it takes time and, and just you have to listen to your voice over and over and over again. But it just it shows that extra little bit of care. It, it all builds upon itself and helps you stand out. And I think that is really, really important with TikTok is standing out because it is a sea of content creators all doing incredible work. And if there are these little touches that you can do that just help put a spotlight on you more, you got to do it. You got to, especially if you're looking to, to get that viral video or anything like that. I think the good thing with these tips are that while I'm not telling you how to edit or teaching you how to use Premiere Pro or any of those editing softwares, these are core concepts that no matter what level you're at will make a difference. And it's always good to keep self-reflecting and changing up and maybe try something different. Maybe one of your TikToks you do an editing style differently and maybe it'll go well and then you boom, you got you got gold. But also, you know what? The whole platform is built on breaking rules and doing different things. So use this as a little bit of a guideline. And then if you don't like how it's coming out, do whatever. That is the joy of content creating is you learn some of these basic rules and then you break them. And then sometimes you're praised for breaking them. And then sometimes you get some mean comments, but eh, you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you. So go out there, edit a TikTok, and uh, have some fun. And uh, wait, wait, no, no, ah, <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. I need to, I need to like ask y'all blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Down in the comments, tell me what has been one of your favorite stylistic choices you've seen on a TikTok. Whether that was where the camera was or maybe they put some kind of filter on it, whatnot like that. I want to hear about it. If you enjoy the video, please, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little notification bell icon. I release videos like this every Saturday. You can catch me on Twitch. You can catch me on YouTube live. You can catch me everywhere. Links are all down in the description, but thank you for watching. Go create a TikTok and uh, here's to hoping. You never know. Your next piece of short form comedy could go viral.